Hello, my fishy friends. Nathan Hovey here again. Uh, I figured I'd hop on real quick and just do a quick update video as a couple things have changed since the last video I uploaded. Um, if you can recall, there was a lot more plants in this tank, especially over on the left side. I have removed those plants, and I will show y'all why here shortly. But other than that, everyone seems to be doing pretty good in this tank. This is the 40 breeder. It's got cherry barbs, diamond tetras, neon tetras, green neon tetras, CPDs, panda coris. Chocolate bristle nose. It's got one balloon molly. Um, and it has one Bolivian ram. Well, that's what it was labeled. I believe it's a cross between a Bolivian and a gold. But we're not going to spend too much time on this tank. But yeah, that's that. Still got the Embuna Fry and the two convicts, two male convict cichlids. I'll be sending these next week um, to Saints Dust, uh, Dusty. He's been patiently waiting. That's a 20 gallon. And I'm probably going to set this up for shrimp once these guys are out of here. Then we go to the 20 long. That, as a lot of you know, was my problem child of a tank for a couple months. Seems to be doing really good now. Um, it has a couple of mollies growing out and whatnot in there. It has some pepper corridoras. It has some um, super red bristle nose. And that's it. Oh, and a Chinese algae eater, which also is going to Saints. To Dusty. So, that tank's doing good. Here is a pretty new setup. This was my last video I made was on this setup here. I converted from cichlids. African cichlids, uh, Jack Dempsey's, Jewel cichlids, you name it. I mean, I kept a little bit of everything. But I converted it. I got rid of all my cichlids other than rams. And I'm going with the community tanks. This has Buenos Aires Tetras, Flame Tetras, Lemon Tetras, Pristilla Tetras, um, Buenos, Lemon, Priscilla, Flame, yep, and then it has three Austral Australian rainbow fish, that's what they were labeled at the store, it has two Bolivian rams, which the colors on this one right here are just stunning, has one Chinese algae eater back there but that like I said that will be going to Saints Dust Aquariums as well the 40 breeder has one as well that one's going I got two mystery snails in here they're gold in color one right there then month few months ago I was struggling with uh, my mystery snails and I've lost a lot of them but they are thankfully doing better their shells are starting to get better so i'm super happy about that but that's the 55 gallon community setup now down here in this tank is a 10 gallon it is um it holds nothing really at the moment other than a few fry and a bunch of eggs you can see the eggs there 
you can see, uh, kind of, let me go over here. Sorry for the shakiness, but you can see all the eggs right here. There's eggs back there on the heater. And I picked this up off the ground. Let me see if I can get it in the shot. I picked this up off the ground so the quarries could swim underneath it. And they laid eggs underneath it. How funny. But, yep, these are my... I believe it's Paleotis, the salt and pepper quarry. That's the, the eggs and the, the few fry. That's uh, who they're from. So there's that. So that pretty much covers all the tanks in my room. I need to remember to go slow. Slow down, Nathan. Slow down. So, I just mounted my TV up there, so now I have a table that I can prepare stuff on, keep my uh, live foods, my cultures. I have some banana worms, Walter worms, and then I have some uh, vinegar eels going. That's nice. I've already fed vinegar eels. Uh, actually, I fed all of them, but I've gotten like... Three times I've used that. Fish seem to like it. So, got some lucky bamboo here. I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver my little cups that go on the back of the aquariums. And I'm going to try to put that somewhere in here. Don't know exactly which tank yet, but. Alright, folks, let's go out here to the living room. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi. What about you, Dixie? You want to say hi? Who's your happy girl? Who's my babies? Oh, winky face, I love you. And there's my bestest, bestest friend, Miss Brandy. Miss Brandy. Who's my love, huh? Is you my love? Yeah. I love you too, baby. Alrighty, here's the 20 gallon. Apologies for going so fast back and forth. Um, I gotta try to remember to get better at that. Nothing's really changed in this tank. I've pulled some of the, um, what I'm assuming to be Italian Val. I've pulled some of that out, and I will show you here in a second why. But yeah, just female mollies right now. Some of these. We'll be going into this next tank, so let's go see the next one. And we venture, and we venture. Want to say hi, Care Bear? Can you say hi? Care Bear. All right. So this is the newest setup. This is a 50-gallon. It is in my wife's room. Um, it was pretty bare for the most part. It had cichlid sand, black and white. And I had the two convicts in here. Because like I said, on my, on my 55, I was getting rid of all my cichlids. And that's the tank they were housed in. See, and seeing how this one didn't have any fish really, I put them in here. But my wife does not like cichlids due to the aggression, which, you know, I can't really blame her. So I figured I would set up a tank for her. So last night I got two bags, 25 pounds each, of this substrate. And then I left... A good portion of the cichlid sand underneath this so I've I mean it's probably what half inch three quarters of an inch thick under here but I like I scooched it back from the edges and then like capped it is what they call it I suppose that way the beneficial bacteria was still in there the, the filters are still used it's everything's still cycled um, that way I could leave the fish in here. This has three yo-yo loaches. 
one common pleco and one Chinese algae eater, as mentioned, will be leaving. But one of the loaches is inside that stump. All the decorations are fake, other than the wood. But I just literally got done planting it. We have some corkscrew valve. Well, actually, let's start in the front corner. Some Ludwigia broadleaf, corkscrew valve, Kabamba, the Italian valve that I took out of the 20 in the living room, the banana plant, some Java fern, some type of sword, Amazon sword perhaps, I'm not sure, I forget. We got some sprigs of uh, just regular standard val in the back there. We got a tiger lotus or lily, however you want to go about it. And we have a little Anubius. Sorry for the glare, y'all. We have a, a little Anubius on a suction cup. My plans are to get more Anubius for the wood and some moss. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some moss or something for that wood. Um, I wouldn't mind putting some boost, boost of philandra on the moss or on the wood as well or somewhere you know I, I think that stump back there would look pretty cool covered in moss it was supposed to have moss or grass you can see all that green area that was supposed to grow but it never did i don't know if you guys have seen those things at walmart or the, even the pet stores the stumps like that they have a rock they have a castle and it's supposed to grow this like grass mossy looking thing but Ours never did anything, but I figured just cover it with some java moss or something, some flame moss, something, I don't know. Oh, we also have some crypts. We got one, two, three, and there's actually a tiny, tiny one in there that you can't see, but I put four crypts, uh, well, four pieces of a crypt up there. Um, I had issues in that 20 long, as you all know, and the crypt started to melt. So I took it out, took it apart, and put it into a different tape with, like, individual pieces of the crypt. And uh, every single piece made a full recovery. And this is the result. I'm starting to get pieces like that. So that's pretty cool. I believe there's two mystery snails, and there's an apple snail or pond snail in here as well. That big old guy. And we got two golds. You can see his the damage on his shell, but it's really starting to uh, get better. So, again, super happy about that. So, yep, yeah, that's the wife's 50-gallon. And it's next to a slider. That's why I'm getting so much glare. But that's that. All right, we'll pause this. And I'm going to end it over at my tanks. We'll see you in point one second. All righty, folks. We're back over here at the 55. Let me know what you guys would do different. Or what I should add. I'm thinking. I mean I like the look of this. Right here. All this cluster of tiny branches. But I also do like the look of a clean. Like the bigger. I guess I don't know if you would call it clean. But the bigger branches. I think it, like sometimes less is more. I don't really see anybody hanging out in the cluster. They sw they do swim through it, but no one really hangs in it. Also, 
I have two power heads. I have the 950 and I have the 550 in the back, which is barely any movement in the tank. And these are, like I mentioned, Tetras, Rainbow Fish, for the most part. Do they like high flow in y'all's experience? Or should I just run the, the 550 and just give them very mild flow? Well, I think that'll about do it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. For coming by, hanging out with me for a little bit. Getting a little update on uh, the aquariums in the house. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you haven't, I would appreciate and be so, so grateful if you would subscribe. Maybe share with a friend. Uh, the more subscribers I get, uh, the more it drives me to make videos. I mean, y'all are the only reason that I'm making any videos is for you viewers. And a good handful of y'all pushed me to make videos in a sense. You guys kept suggesting I make some so y'all could see and I'm really enjoying it so yeah I mean I guess that's that and until next time remember feed your fish <laughs>